The Ferry Creek watershed is a spiritual forest used for spiritual purposes up the Ferry Creek and Renfrew Creek area. The first time I spent time in Eden Grove specifically, it felt like a, a space for reverence. Uh, and I, it felt like this, like a very holy place of just like a place to come and pray and respect. It was inspiring in the way that it was like this deep, like amazement and awe. I respect Mother Nature. It's been here for many generations. Old growth trees. It's kind of like, to me, it's like outers. There is very little of it left, just remnants of our ancient forests. A tree is not an inanimate object. They are the denizens of the ancient forest. And I'm looking at something that's been there for 800 years, a thousand years, and I'm painting its portrait. And it's important that it's understood as a portrait. Because typically portraits are for painting humans. And in this case, I'm wanting to paint a portrait of these trees in an effort or in a way to acknowledge their agency. They're all very unique. And there's so many big old trees in this grove, and they're all extremely different. They're not just trees, they're individuals. And they are a part of a, a greater community of plants and animals, and humans too. It's very important, I say, for me to keep, uh, to keep them standing. And when you go into a rainforest, like that's never been farmed and never been cut, it's, has, it's, it's not just one level, it's all the levels of life. It's decomposing and new birth and the joy as well as the sorrow. And it's like, it's a full spectrum of all these emotions and feelings and spirits and animals and uh, bugs and just everything. This world is a spiritual place, the whole world. And that in fact, we have to reserve places and protect and care for them for our children's needs in their future. Other types of value that this place represents, aside from the monetary value of that tree, the value of biodiversity, the value of clean water, the value of water retention and holding the hillsides together and salmon and orcas and myriad other species. Spirit of this river is so powerful and deep. I feel like there's a huge uprising and an evolution happening. And I also invite all people to come up to the forest, especially the old growth, for protection and care as you attend to your spiritual needs. And bring the kids. We're wanting to save what's left of it for the children's future and their spiritual needs.